Hi, this is Mary Colbert, and this is Dr. Colbert's Divine Health Podcast. Hey, this is Dr. Colbert, and we're going to be talking about a subject that I'm seeing more and more, and it's acne, especially, Mary, in women. Adults. Adult women, but also kids, but also men, but especially in older women. Wow. And it's correlated with stress. Ah. And the more stress (laughs) they're under, the more acne many are having. And also, many women are starting to take these bioidentical hormones. I'm surprised my face doesn't look like chicken pox. Well, when you get a stressed out woman, low in progesterone, (laughs) and you put her on testosterone, and you stress her out more, Mm -hmm. then she's going to have acne like a teenager. Mm. And so we are seeing so much acne. But again, there's simple things we can do to prevent it and to reverse it. But one of the most amazing things is that acne is literally fueled by sugar. And we now know this. This has actually been shown that a diet rich in carbohydrates and sugar, like sodas and like your potatoes and potato chips and bread and pasta and all the high carbohydrate foods is associated with a high glycemic index. And then it causes many times high insulin levels. High insulin levels then cause increased production of insulin-like growth factor, IGF-1, which then in turn promotes the production of androgens, which are uh, simply male hormones that have masculinizing effects, which cause acne. The main androgen that causes acne is dihydrotestosterone, but also DHEA can do it, pregnenolone can do it, androstenedione can do it. And what's happening is the sugar is the trigger of a lot of this, Mary, Mm. which is pretty amazing. Mm. And so it's increasing those androgens that's causing the acne. Now, let's just uh, explain how acne occurs In girls, the peak incidence occurs between 14 and 17. In boys, the symptoms usually observed about two years later. Uh, But during early adulthood, usually acne decreases and goes away. But it it is appearing now that so many older people are developing adult-onset acne. And it mainly affects uh, the areas on the face. Uh, We call them the seborrheic zones. Now, what's happening is the main thing that's driving this is that our diet that's high in processed foods and sugars. It's raising that insulin. It's causing a vicious cycle to occur. And this vicious cycle is simply high sugar intake and high carbs, high stress is causing high insulin levels and then high IGF-1 levels, which then triggers a, a release of increased androgens like dihydrotestosterone that triggers acne, and you get caught in a vicious cycle. So that's why we're seeing this not only in our men, but especially in our women. Now, the acne is caused by a bacteria called QT, C-U-T-I, bacterium acnes. And so acne is simply um, triggered by this bacteria along with excessive keratosis that occurs from these hormones and stress chemicals and these androgenic hormones. And also these hormones produce increased uh, sebum production and the cutobacterium feeds on the sebum. So it's a vicious cycle. And so the acne is created from the sugar, from the increased androgens, and then you set up a cycle where literally you produce too much sebum, the cutobacterium feeds on it. And so you get these terrible acne uh, pustules and you can get scarring, you can get all of this horrible mess that even occurs as an adult. But luckily, we do have the answer to this. And it starts with changing your diet and decreasing your sugars, carbs, and starches. And that's simply my program, the Beyond Keto program, which is a healthy keto and or Mediterranean diet, which lowers sugar dramatically. I thought when I see young kids, I'm thinking that with their acne and all, I'm thinking they are allergic to gluten. Now, usually. yeah, gluten, uh, again, gluten is a carb, just like, uh, you know, these other high carbohydrate foods that raise the insulin, that then raises IGF 1, that then causes secretion of the androgens, that then trigger the acne. So it's, uh, uh-huh. some people say it's the gluten, it's more likely the mechanism of the high insulin created from the the wheat and the gluten. Ah, That's what's happening. So it's not eating too many pizzas or it is eating too no, many No, it is. Pizzas. Absolutely. <laughs> pizzas, uh, yeah. is, you might as well be eating sugar. It's right raising insulin levels, which is setting the whole 
uh, cycle of acne started. So, mm -hmm. see, it just simply follows that high sugar intake, high insulin intake, elevation of IGF-1, and then elevation of androgens, especially dihydrotestosterone. That's the bad boy that really triggers acne. Wow. So, uh, now, there's a lot of treatments for acne. There's treatments over the counter, like proactive. There's uh, treatments you see the doctor and uh, you go to the dermatologist and there's, you know, they'll generally put you on an antibiotic, which I do not like, like doxycycline, minocin, minocycline, tetracycline. Those are terrible for you because they mess up your microbiome, which in turn triggers more acne down the road. So if your doctor is putting you on antibiotics, do not take the antibiotics. Now you say, what about topical antibiotics? They're similar to the oral, just not as bad. Other things you can do that are uh, better would be proactive over-the-counter or benzoyl peroxide with Retin-A. And they do have these Retin-As over-the-counter now, as well as um, Epidua, one of my favorites for kids and people with bad acne that's with, that have the excessive oiliness of their face is a product called Epiduo that you can get from your doctor. Your primary care doctor can do that. But also there's natural things we can do, such as tea tree oil. Now, if you take a couple of drops of tea tree oil, do not put it in oil, any other oil. It'll make your acne worse, but you put it in some aloe vera, and you just wash your face with a mild cleanser like Cetaphil Cleanser. Oh, I thought you were going to get ready to say, take it. <laughs> I was no, like, no, no, it's no, topical. No, okay. then, no, then you put the tea tree oil, a couple of drops, and a little bit of aloe vera, and you just put it on your face and let it dry, and it'll clear up acne. It kills wow. acne. It kills that cutobacterium. That causes acne. Another thing that works is green tea. Now, you can drink green tea. You can take the green tea extract. And green tea helps to literally kill the, the bacteria associated with it. And it creates an environment where you're less likely to develop acne and more likely to have healing from your acne. So wow. gr uh, you can also do gr green tea facial scrubs. You can open a capsule and put your green tea phytosomes. There's phytosome green tea that's really well, that works really good. You can put it in your facial scrub and scrub that in to exfoliate that dead, the dead skin. And the green tea literally helps to heal your acne. I um, love this. So that's also amazing. you can do a green tea mask and you can get the strong Japanese matcha, M-A-T-C-H-A green tea powder. And you put it in with aloe vera gel and a little apple cider vinegar and make you a mask. Wow. Uh, and it clears acne up, Mary. You just wow. put that on each night and wash it off, you know. Or you can, some people get the green tea, the matcha green tea bags, and just put them on their face with acne is. And that'll also help to clear acne. So green tea is one of the most, or just drinking green tea or taking green tea capsules or phytosomes is extremely good for clearing acne or preventing acne. Another supplement that is amazing for acne is berberine. Now, I've been using berberine for my diabetics for years, and I'll typically put them on 500 milligrams of berberine twice a day. But for acne, we find that berberine, that's B-E-R-B-E-R-I-N-E, -E -E, 500 milligrams three times a day helps acne tremendously in some people. It's inexpensive. You can get it at the health food store and just 500 milligrams three times a day. You know what I love about this podcast? People can listen to this, and if you're, you're speaking too fast or talking too sure. fast, they can stop it, rewind it, listen to you again, listen to you again, and finally get the information. I sure hope you guys are enjoying this. I am. And be sure to share our podcast with other people to help th spread this good, natural information. This is really good. I can't wait. I don't have acne, but it just... You've never it, had acne. I've never had acne. I, even as a kid, I never had acne. Uh, I'm blessed for no acne. <laughs> but I, I've known a lot of people who have, and I know it's something that a lot of people do struggle with. So, Because, you know, your face is so important, and it can, it can affect your self-esteem, you know, especially young people. So that's great. That this is good information. Well, another trigger for acne, we've talked about the high sugar, high carbohydrates. It's also leaky gut. Leaky gut is generally created from taking anti-inflammatory meds like aspirin, Advil, Aleve, also proton pump inhibitors like Prilosec, Nexium, Pantoprazole, but also antibiotics is a major trigger for leaky gut, as well as wheat. If you eat a lot of wheat, people that eat a lot of wheat, especially older with their over- 50, they generally are more prone to develop leaky gut. Well, leaky gut and acne go hand in hand. 
So once we heal that leaky gut, many times acne goes away, which is pretty amazing. And one of the key things that helps to heal the leaky gut and lower the sugar is berberine. It also helps to control the bad bacteria in the gut. So berberine, 500 milligrams two or three times a day is amazing for that, for helping to uh, kill those bad bacteria and helping to heal leaky gut, as well as helping to lower the sugar that created the problem in the first place. The high sugar causes the whole cycle of events, the high sugar, the high insulin, the high IGF-1 levels, then elevated androgens. So we're finding that Acne is definitely diet-induced, and the, the dermatologists have been telling us for decades it's not, but now we know it is. Okay, so again, it's just so many things we can do naturally to help control it. And another thing we can do is they have found that certain supplements also help vitamins and minerals. One of the vitamin that helps to prevent acne is something that a lot of people have known for years, but unfortunately the doctors don't tell you this. It's vitamin A. Vitamin A is retinol. And I recommend about 1,500 micrograms a day, which is about 5,000 units. And that helps to prevent and reverse acne for a lot of people. I mean, I've been using this for decades on a lot of patients, just not beta carotene now. Beta carotene doesn't work. It has to be vitamin A or retinol that you ingest orally in a little teeny capsule mm. or a little gel cap. Mm. And so it's like 1,500 micrograms, which is 5,000 units a day. And it's also great for immune system. It helps protect your immune system from many viruses and bacteria. In this day and age with COVID, it's great to be on the vitamin A. I take it every day. Mm -hmm. I swear by it. I don't have acne. I take it for immune boosting effects that it has. But see, the vitamin A is not in a lot of our foods. I mean, it's found in a little bit in butter, and you're not supposed to be eating much butter. It's found in some fish and in calf's liver. Who eats that? No one eats it. Calf's liver? Calf's <laughs> liver. Who eats that? No one yeah. I know eats that. But it's also found in cod liver oil. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, but what mm -hmm. I do is I just take that little retinol and I take that 1,500 micrograms or 5,000 units a day. And that way, it, it'll help many with their acne. Another vitamin that helps many is vitamin E, which helps with skin hydration. And some, the swear by vitamin E, just a, I use a combination of all eight forms of vitamin E, the alpha, the beta, the delta, the gamma, vitamin E, tocotrienols, and tocopherols. So vitamin E, you don't have just one vitamin E. Some people think it's just one vitamin E. But if you get the, D, the alpha tocopherol, the DL, that's a synthetic. Don't get that kind. Just get a comprehensive vitamin E supplement. But vitamin E is not as important as vitamin A retinol. Another vitamin that helps with prevention of acne is, are the B vitamins. The B vitamins inhibit sebum secretion and reduce the colonization of the bacteria, which is a cutie bacteria. It's not cute. It's an ugly bacteria, but it's called cutie, C-U-T-I, bacterium. And we have found that high doses of B12 can worsen some patients with acne, especially in women. So if you're taking a mega dose of vitamin B12, you're wondering why you're breaking out like a teenager, mm. too much B12 can trigger acne, guys. So that's one thing you want to know. Two minerals real important protecting against acne are zinc and selenium. Those are the two most important. What they do is zinc has a bacteriostatic effect on the cutie bacterium. So it actually uh, many times stops it in its tracks, whereas psyllium or selenium, excuse me, regulates the sebum production and has anti-inflammatory properties. So selenium and zinc are the two most important minerals. And then real important, remember that powerful gut-brain connection, well, there's also the gut-skin connection. If you have leaky gut, you are asking for acne. And the best thing to protect you against a leaky gut is good probiotics as well as a good fiber that feeds the probiotics that has a prebiotic in it. Mm -hmm. So we have our fiber zone with our Beyond Biotic are my two favorites. And that I've had so many patients, they get on these two supplements, fiber zone and the probiotic, Beyond Biotic, and they say, it is amazing. My skin hasn't looked this good, as she said, many have said, since I, I've been a kid or since I've been... You know, I had so many people that get the adult onset acne, and then all of a sudden their gut clears up. They get off the gluten. They get off the sugar. They take their fiber, their pre, their probiotic, their prebiotic, and their their skin clears up and their gut clears up. 
So one other thing that really helps a lot of my patients who have been recalcitrant or they can't clear the acne, there's a supplement called lactoferrin. Now, lactoferrin is in a lot of yogurts, but unfortunately, milk products can fuel acne due to the sugar, the lactose in the milk. So a lot of people are have had a lot of milk products, especially ice cream, but just the milk, sugar, and milk, and yogurt, some yogurts, but yogurt many times doesn't have much sugar. I use the goat, and I use the sheep yogurt, which is less inflammatory. But what yogurt does have in it, and kefir, is lactoferrin. And they found that lactoferrin, 100 milligrams a day up to 200 milligrams a day, helps a lot of people with acne. And so that's another key little thing that helps my acne patients. Now, as far as those teenagers with acne, it's always, almost always due to the hormones. And again, these teenagers can eat anything they want, and they are creating a vicious cycle because they're fueling the acne. They're given acne that's favorite food, which is sugar. And when you create that environment with high testosterone, high androgens, and sugar, you're asking for major pustular acne. Mm -hmm. So that's why what we do with, with these patients. Now, I've got to explain, too, there's some new products out, and these have just been released, and I wanted to talk about this because so much acne is due to androgens. And so the new product is a uh, new cream called Winlevi, W-E-N-L-E-V-I, and it's a new class of topical androgen receptor inhibitors is just approved by the FDA in 2020. And we were when we were researching this, Mary, it's, it's called generic, or the generic name is Clascoterone, but it's, it's uh, under the name Winlevi, W-E-N-L-E-V-I. It's a cream. And the cream inhibits the dihydrotestosterone and androgens in your skin, so it works a lot like spironolactone or aldactone, which is the the uh, testosterone blocker that most dermatologists prescribe for acne for women. So if you're a woman and you have polycystic ovaries and you have the acne and you have the thinning hair, what they'll do is dermatologists put these women on spironolactone. Spironolactone is a diuretic, that's a potassium sparing diuretic, that inhibits testosterone amazingly well. So generally, they'll put you on 50 milligrams of spironolactone or aldactone. Well, there's a new medicine called Winlevi that is, works the same way as spironolactone without the side effects. Hmm. So because spironolactone can cause elevated potassiums and electrolyte imbalances, but you don't get the problems with the Winlevi. So it's a whole new type of medicine. It really looks good for treating acne. It is a prescription. You'll acne have to see a doctor. Acne adults. How about teenagers? Teenagers too, ages 12 and up, because the whole, oh, root okay. Cause, okay. the whole root cause of acne is androgens, and then you get into that high sugar and high insulin, high IGF-1 and high androgen. It's a vicious cycle. So you're caught in this fuel with the sugar. So they're stuck in a loop. I know. And then I the hormones. So this will block the hormonal part. Then okay. all we have to do is fix the dietary part, give them a, for, a few nutraceuticals like our enhanced multivitamin, which gives them mm -hmm. all the vitamins and minerals they need. And as far as to maintain usually healthy skin, but they do need a little extra retinol, which is vitamin A. And that's it. So for 12 and older. Yeah, 12 that and medicine, older. What's sure. it called again? It's called Winlevi, W-E-N-L-E-V-I. -E -E I want parents to hear me. Do not ignore your teenager's acne. You may think it's not bothering them. They may not talk about it. Depending upon how bad it is, if your child's face is really covered with acne, oh, it causes listen, severe depression. Severe depression, they can, absolutely. That'll cause them to easily turn to smoking pot, doing drugs, and you'll wonder what is wrong with them. And it it could be the depression is brought on by the acne. Why is that? Because their peer groups and other kids, ha, you know, in school have it. They're mean. <laughs> they can be very mean. In high school, I remember a young guy. He was great. He was just a good guy, and he was so nice. But his face, he had those crater-covered acne on his face. And he was in my Spanish class, and I'll never forget one day we came in, and the teacher got up and announced 
to pray for his family, he had taken a gun and committed oh, suicide. Goodness. So wow. it affected him so oh, severely. I know. That, you know, you just never know. So please don't ignore this with your kids. Plus, please. let's just talk about simple, inexpensive things you can do. We don't have to start with the big guns, Mary. Yeah. You can just start with proactive. If your teenager has acne, proactive is good. Right. It works. Or if it's not working, you can get benzoyl peroxide with Retin-A. That works good, too, for many. If that's not working, you can move up to EpiDuo, E-P-I-D-U-O, and you can get that from your family practice doc or your dermatologist. It's a little more expensive, but it's magical how it clears so many patients with acne. If it's severe cystic acne, I don't like Accutane or Isotretinoin, but it has been a lifesaver for those that have severe depression because some kids have that horrible, scarring, pustular yes. acne that literally will cause them to be depressed yes. for the rest That's of their lives. And let me tell you, that Accutane's a lifesaver for those kids. Yep. Absolute lifesaver. My favorites, of course, tea tree oil with aloe vera. Wash your face with a little Cetaphil natural clean, I mean Cetaphil cleanser. It's real gentle. And mm -hmm. then put that a little bit, a couple of drops of tea tree with aloe. Boom. It'll clear most acne up. Or get your green tea out, drink it, or you can make your little face mask with green tea, matcha green tea, which is great. Or you can use some berberine. Berberine, 500 milligrams, two or three times a day works really good. But the biggest thing is get the sugar and the excessive carbs and the dairy. Those three are the biggies and the gluten, gluten, gluten. Mm -hmm. If you get those out, the body will usually heal. The face can heal. And then we can literally reverse. I've seen so many kids when they have that beautiful complexion back and no more acne and no scars, there, there no more depression. It is amazing. We don't want our kids going down that route for depression. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our podcast tonight, the Divine Health Podcast. Go to our website, drcolbert.com, and shop on our website. We've got a lot of products on there that he has talked about, and he's sitting here looking at me. One more thing. Well, no, just uh, if you want to support Divine Health or this podcast, it's just our products today that's, that are bringing this forth for you are number one, enhanced multivitamin. It contains all the nutrients, the, the B vitamins. It contains the vitamin D, the vitamin A, but you need a little higher amount of vitamin A retinol. And it also contains the, the minerals, the I zinc and the selenium. I take our multivitamin It's our enhanced. It's one, it's one of the best, as it. well as our fiber zone and our Beyond Biotics Pro, Probiotic. Those I are can't the key believe ones. the difference in my energy when I take the multivitamin and when I forget it. Absolutely real. Well, we have the active forms of the multivi of the vitamins, and we have the, and we have the chelated minerals for superior absorption. We have the active forms of the Bs. We we didn't make this chintzy, Mary. We put the methyl tetrahydrofolic acid in it. We put the py pyridoxal five phosphate. I put the methyl cobalamin. The active forms <laughs> of the vitamins in there. I didn't I didn't give a Listen. cheapie. Dr. Colbert doesn't do anything halfway. <laughs> no. It has got to be the best of the best, or you can forget it. Let me just tell you, it may be a little more expensive, but that's because it's got the real stuff, the real deal, the good stuff in it. And I can tell you, there is nothing out there in the market to compare with our multivitamin. I do not care. Period. End of story. We have the best. So thank you for listening and share this podcast. And we pray for you. We love you. And we pray that you walk in divine health. Amen, and thank you so much. And, and just send in your request, what subject matter you want me to talk about. Okay, God bless you. Have a wonderful day.